So thank you very much for joining me in this EBPF Summit 2022. I'm Jela Haroni. I work at ISOVALENT. And in this talk, we are going to see container security and write-time enforcement with Tetragon. So Tetragon is an EBPF-based security observability and runtime enforcement. It can achieve deep visibility and runtime enforcement at different layers. So not only on the system calls layer, but at many different layers and subsystems of the operating system as shown in this picture. Datagon uses BPF and BTF. So um, BTF is the metadata format that encodes uh, debug information that is needed by Datagon BPF program. Datagon ship, can use the default BTF file of the operating system and also ship some BTF files that can be used by its BPF programs. In Kubernetes and containers context, Datagon, when it collects its events at the kernel uh, space, it will associate all these events with processes and eventually with containers and pods that allows users to better understand what the Kubernetes cluster is doing, what are the security events, etc. Datagon use K-Probs to dynamically break into any kind of routine. So we can insert capabilities uh, checks without changing kernel code. We can harden the kernel code, detect exploits or bugs. This also allows to trust process execution, trust system calls, and to ask capability checks by format by the kernel on processes. So if you want to know what capabilities your container or your application may require when they are running, Datagon is a good choice as shown in this uh, demo. So we have the super mode inside the container that triggered the capability check done by the kernel, what was the cap that read search inside the username space level one, meaning it's a nested one owned by user ID 1000, that is an unprivileged username space. And the, and the result is zero, concluding that the capability check succeeded. This allows in the future to build better security profiles with the capabilities that your containers may require. We, Tetragon can also filter system calls and block dangerous system calls, support the default Docker SecCom profile as a no low or deny list, all this can happen on the fly without the downtime or requiring container restart. Datagon can also stick access to Linux namespace. So we have the user namespace that allows users to create uh, their own namespace and gain capabilities in order to access some kernel features. And often attackers take or abuse this in order to perform kernel exploit privilege escalation of container escapes as shown into this list of CVs and exploits. Datagon is able to restrict creation of unprivileged user namespace and uh, it will kill uh, the offending process as shown in, in to this demo. So Datagon can also restrict capabilities inside namespace. So this demo shows how PS inside the user namespace, when it tries to access information about other processes, CAPSIS Petras, it can be killed. Beside the uh, tracing capabilities, detecting new capabilities or racing capabilities, Tatagon can also block loading kernel modules as an example, or auto-loading vulnerable or old and patched kernel modules. Tatagon can also attach to Linux security modules hooks on the fly. One of the nice features is it can update the security policies of your Kubernetes cluster on the fly without downtime, meaning it doesn't require container or an operating system restart. Besides attaching to the capabilities LSM, it can also take advantage of the kernel lockdown LSM, which is an LSM that blocks or gates access to a running kernel image. Tetragon can take advantage of its hooks by restricting loading inside the kernel modules, restricting kernel execution of inside the images, etc. It can also gate access to the set user ID system call uh, group in order to allow only some user IDs. So Tetragon uh, Sandbox uh, allows to enforce runtime restriction in order to prevent container escapes, prevent the kernel exploits, and it is easy to adapt to new techniques or exploits. From our summary, we can say uh, that Tetragon can restrict system calls, can trust or restrict capabilities and namespace as usual. It's easy to attach to Linux security modules and perform security checks. And we can be easily used to harden the Linux kernel and insert capability checks at random place without changing kernel code.
Uh, our conclusion is EBPF based security and observability solutions are flexible and they allow us to adapt the, uh, the policies and behavior on the fly without service downtime. Thank you very much.